we've attached all our seams and put everything together. Now we're going to just briefly go over how to create a facing using interfacing as well. So remember, a facing is what we just round out our neck with like we did with the muslin. And the interfacing is going to be this um, transparent, like we covered in Know Your Tools, this transparent uh, supporting adhesive that you're going to use is fusible so they come in fusible and they come in non-fusible we're going to use the fusible kind and it's just a supporting piece of fabric that you're going to use to stiffen a particular piece of the clothing usually like usually on the armholes around the neck you can even use it on hems to sort of give it a, a stronger structure as well so what i did was i folded the pattern Rather, I placed it on the fabric like I would the rest of the patterns, um, maintaining the center front fold. So it looked like that when I cut it. So I cut one for the fabric and I cut one for the interfacing. Keep in mind that the interfacing needs to be adhesive side up. So for example, if I cut this and the adhesive side was down a lot of times when you try to attach them like the adhesive side and the back side of the fabric should be able to go together like this if you cut the uh, interfacing on the wrong side then the sticky side is going to be in the opposite direction so you're going to need to make sure that the adhesive side is facing up while your fabric wrong side is facing down on top of it because you're going to need to combine the two together also i have taylor's tags here What's going to happen is I'm going to have to remove my tailor's tack and then reapply it later. Why? Because if I try to iron with the tailor's tack in, what's going to happen is I'm, it's going to be very difficult to take the tailor's tack out. And those are essentially meant to come out of the particular um, piece of fabric. So you don't want those to stay in. So I have my, in, I have my facing and I have my fabric on the wrong side and I have the adhesive side up. So I just take it to my iron, take the sticky side up and I lay it right down on top of the wrong side. Take this pin out. So I like to put just like a little pin because sometimes when you're ironing it, it shifts. So I keep a little pin there just to keep it from shifting. And then I sort of just fold this on top of it. And again, I'm just really trying to make sure I keep as much a uh, stick because it will stick to anything. It'll even stick to this. So even when you're ironing or when you're cutting it out, you have to make sure that you don't have any excess facing because what's going to happen is whatever is out and is showing, it's just going to stick to it. So that's why I always try to use some sort of covering. Make sure your iron is on the right setting and then you just press on top of it. You wanna make sure that it's smoothly going across it because if not, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get bubbles and puckering. You're also gonna get that if you're not matching the right type of facing. So you don't wanna use a super uh, stiff facing on a very loose or stretchy material because it's going to have a lot of bubbles and that's not what you want. You want a flat facing. And you're just gonna to have to keep going over and over sort of making sure you're pressing down because you want that to adhere to the facing. So you start off with a very flimsy piece of fabric and then you're going to end up, I'm just gonna, so as you can see, it's sticking to the places where there was visible facing. So I'd rather it be on this pressing cloth than on my iron because in the iron, it takes a lot longer to get it off if you ever get it all the way off. And I essentially do the same thing with the two back pieces. So remember when we did the facing with the muslin, it we attached them at the edges or at the side seams. So the side seam is gonna be that one that has that slant there and then it comes to look like this. If you're not comfortable with um, just sort of eyeballing where that seam was, you wanna place it back on. Now you can actually go back and pin right on that center front and then reinforce 
your tailor's tack. So now I can go in and reinforce the tailor's tack after I've done my ironing. Again, because if not, the tack is going to be in between the interfacing and the fabric. So now it's going to be here. So that's going to be a lot easier for me to just pull that out. Whereas if I did it before, then it's going to be stuck in between the interfacing and the actual fabric. And that's going to be really difficult to take apart. So I do what I did before and I connect those points straight down on both sides. Once those are connected, they look a little bit like this. And as you can see, this is this is, feels a little bit firmer, has a little bit more support. Once I'm done there, now we're going to go to sewing it up and then placing it inside of our neckline. Okay. So now I've pressed open my seams. We got the interfacing side, we've got the right side. I'm going to go in and just clip this excess interfacing. off of my neck area. Okay. So now that we have our dress assembled, we have our facing assembled, now let's connect the two. So again, we go to those side seams first, just like we did in the muslin. And then we make sure we match up the notches. So remember, this is how we know that this side goes to the front of this is because we have notches at the top of the neckline here and we have notches here. And we just continue to pin. We wanna make sure that our right sides are showing and that the interfacing is inside of the dress. So this is the inside of the dress and that's where I'm going to see my facing and my seams. So that way when I'm done stitching on this side, I'm going to reveal this side. So I'm going to go in, we're going to uh, baste, then we're going to stitch around. So I've attached with the sewing machine my facing I've done my clips, as you can see, I clipped straight across my neckline just to give it a little bit of ease. And I also did a neat neatening stitch along the edge of the facing. Like I said, if we were doing a lining, it would be a little bit different, but because we're really just learning the basics of how to put together a basic dress, I didn't want to make it too difficult. And this is like the easiest way to sort of secure your seams. If you had a cotton fabric, it might be a, do a little bit better. I have a satin fabric, so there's still mild fraying, but not nearly as bad as if you didn't touch it at all. So you will have to have some sort of finishing to your garment. And when we're talking about finishings, we're gonna talk about how to keep this down. So if we don't do anything to this and we just sort of like press it, there's going to be just a little bit of it coming up. So it's not gonna lay flat. So we need to do um, an under stitching. I call it a top stitching, it's called different things, but it's just a method to keep um, facings down so that they don't kind of flare up and move around. So what you do is you go in and there is a seam that is attaching the bottom part of my garment to the top part of my facing. So what I do is I go in and I just use my finger and I attach it to the facing. So instead of coming down this way, which is not going to do much in the way of securing the facing, I have to actually go in and move that seam upwards towards the facing. Then I'm just going to pin it. 
And I do that for the entire facing. I go in and I move the seam upwards. So that I'm actually pinning down the top part of my garment or the neckline to the actual facing itself. And you do that, and this is done for all facings, and that is just to keep it in place from having it move all around the neck area. It sort of keeps it in place. Once I have the, it secured with pins, I'm going to baste it in preparation for running it through the machine. So you can already start to see that it's starting to like lay a little bit. So I take my thread and we do that basting stitch. I start at the top here and I'm just going to, it's gonna be a little bit different. Like I said, I have a thicker fabric Just gonna do a couple here just so you see what it looks like. So this is me basting it. This is what it looks like on the other side. As you can see, the thread is going more towards the facing. So you base the entire top area of the facing, and then we see what we do next. Okay, so this is what it looks like basted down. On this side and on this side. So what you do is you go to the sewing machine and now you're going to sew right next to that basting stitch. So you want to get it right in the middle, but you don't want to be too far off this way because the goal is to make sure you catch this fabric within your seam. So you're catching this fabric and this fabric within one stitch. So if you go too much this way, you're not going to catch it. And if you go too much this way, it's going to defeat the purpose. You want it almost in the middle so that it actually anchors the facing down. So if, like I said, if you go too far up, it's, gonna, it's not gonna do its job. And if you go too far down, it's not gonna actually be attaching the fabric the way you want it. So you sew right in the middle in between the basting and making sure it's right in between that stitch and the top of the, that um, piece of fabric. So here you have it, this is your facing. So we have our top stitch here and as you can see, now we don't have the issue once everything is closed up of it being in danger of flipping over and like coming up from the neck area. You can also, when we're all done is, I wouldn't do it now though, until we put the zipper in. You can actually just tack this down temporarily with pins and then just take a needle and thread and just sort of create like a tack. And that's just going around um, a couple of times just to make sure it stays down. But you have to be very careful because you see that. If you don't do it the right way, it shows on the other side. But if you just want to temporarily throw, um, put that down, that's fine. I can show you a way to do that so it doesn't show through. But for right now, the mission that we want is accomplished. We want to be able to get that facing so that it lays down so that we're not in any danger of it poking up or standing up. And that's essentially what the purpose of a facing is. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Videos are uploaded weekly covering dressmaking, fashion, lectures, and more. 